in the infinite expanse of the cosmos, there exists a principle that goes beyond mere philosophical musings. This principle, deeply embedded in the fabric of existence, operates on a simple yet profound premise. The external world acts as a reflection of our internal state. This idea isn't new. It has roots in ancient wisdom and has been echoed across various cultures and epochs, from the philosophical treatises of ancient Greece to the mystical texts of the East. This concept has been a recurring theme, suggesting that our thoughts, beliefs, and intentions shape the reality we experience. Consider, for example, the ancient hermetic axiom as above, so below, as within, so without. This phrase, originating from the hermetic texts, encapsulates the essence of the mirror principle. It implies a harmonious and symbiotic relationship between the microcosm the individual, and the macrocosm, the universe. This connection suggests that the universe is not a separate entity we navigate, but a reflection of our inner landscapes. In more recent history, the works of Carl Jung introduced the concept of the collective unconscious and the notion of synchronicity, which can be seen as modern interpretations of the mirror principle. Jung proposed that there is a deeper layer of the unconscious shared among all humans, containing archetypes and symbols that shape our experiences. Synchronicity, or the meaningful coincidence of external and internal events, further illustrates how our inner states are mirrored in the external world in ways that defy conventional explanations of causality. The mirror principle also finds resonance in the philosophical underpinnings of quantum physics. While not directly analogous, the observer effect in quantum mechanics hints at the participatory nature of reality, where the act of observation influences the observed phenomenon. This suggests a universe more intertwined with consciousness than previously imagined, aligning with the idea that our perceptions and beliefs can influence our reality. Understanding and applying the principle of belief and perception in our lives unveils a profound insight into the mechanics of reality creation. Our beliefs, deeply embedded within our subconscious, serve as the lens through which we view the world. These beliefs, whether about our capacity for wealth, love, success, or happiness dictate how we perceive our surroundings, influencing our actions in reactions in a cycle that can either uplift or limit us. When we harbor a belief, especially one that limits our potential, such as the belief in our incapacity to amass wealth, it acts as a filter, darkening our perception of opportunities and possibilities and possibilities. This belief becomes a narrative we tell ourselves, a story that shapes our reality. Actions stemming from this belief are likely to align with the narrative of limitation, thereby reinforcing the belief and perpetuating a cycle that keeps us from realizing our true potential. This dynamic illustrates the power of a self-fulfilling prophecy, where our beliefs about reality shape our actions in such a way that we bring about the outcomes we expected. To shift this paradigm and harness the principle of belief and perception for positive change, it's necessary to engage in a conscious examination and restructuring of our beliefs. This process begins with identifying and challenging the beliefs that limit us by questioning their validity and exploring their origins, we can begin to loosen their grip on our perception of reality. This critical examination paves the way for the adoption of new, empowering beliefs that align with our desires and aspirations. The next step involves actively nurturing these new beliefs until they become ingrained within our subconscious, influencing our perceptions and actions in a way that supports our goals. Visualization, affirmations, and acting. 
as if the desired reality is already ours are practical tools for embedding these beliefs deeper into our psyche. As these new beliefs take root, they start to filter our perception of the world in a more positive and expansive light, enabling us to see opportunities we might have previously overlooked and to act with confidence towards achieving our goals. Moreover, understanding the nature of belief and perception highlights the importance of being mindful of the narratives we adopt about ourselves and the world. It encourages us to curate our internal dialogue, choosing beliefs that empower and uplift us. This mindful curation is not an act of naive optimism, but a strategic approach to reality creation. Recognizing that our beliefs and perceptions are the architects of our experience. In the context of manifesting wealth, shifting from a belief in scarcity to one of abundance changes how we perceive money and wealth. Instead of viewing wealth as something outside of ourselves that is difficult to obtain, we begin to see it as something within our creative domain, accessible and abundant. This shift not only opens us to the flow of wealth, but also aligns our actions with wealth creation, breaking the cycle of limitation and opening the doors to a reality where abundance is not just a possibility, but a lived experience. Breaking free from limiting beliefs requires a deep introspection and a willingness to challenge and redefine our perceptions. It involves constructing a new identity and worldview that align with our aspirations and desires. This process is akin to planting seeds in the fertile ground of our consciousness, nurturing them with positive affirmations and actions and allowing them to grow and manifest in our external reality. In practice, changing our internal narrative is not a simple task. It demands consistency, patience, and a deep commitment to personal growth. Ancient practices such as meditation, mindfulness, and journaling can serve as tools to facilitate this internal transformation. These practices help us become more aware of our thought patterns, beliefs, and emotions, allowing us to consciously choose which ones we wish to cultivate and which we prefer to release. Ancient wisdom, with its profound insights into the human condition and the nature of reality, has long emphasized the transformative power of gratitude and the focus on abundance over scarcity. This guidance, transcending time and culture, suggests that by valuing what we currently possess and envisioning future possibilities, we can alter our vibrational frequency, drawing closer to the life we aspire to lead. This principle, though simple in concept, requires a deliberate and sustained effort to integrate into our daily lives, marking the beginning of a profound journey of self-discovery and growth. The practice of gratitude opens our eyes to the bounty that surrounds us, grounding us in the present and acknowledging the wealth in our lives that often goes unnoticed. This shift in focus from what is lacking to what is abundantly present is akin to tuning into a new frequency that resonates with prosperity and opportunity. As we cultivate this mindset, we lay the groundwork for attracting more abundance for the universe reflects back to us, the energy we emit. Focusing on abundance, on the other hand, requires us to transcend our perceived limitations, to see beyond the immediate challenges, and to envision a reality where our desires are not only possible, but are already on their way to manifestation. This vision of abundance acts as a beacon, guiding our actions and decisions and aligning us with the pathways that lead to the realization of our goals. This transformation, however, unfolds gradually, mirroring the natural rhythm of growth and change. It is a process that invites patience, perseverance, and a deep faith in the unseen forces that conspire to bring our dreams into reality. 
The journey is as much about achieving our desires as it is about the evolution of our being, where each step forward is a step into greater self-awareness and understanding. Self-transformation is an invitation to delve into the depths of our being, to confront the beliefs and fears that have held us back, and to illuminate them with the light of consciousness. This path is not without its challenges, for it asks us to face our shadows, those parts of ourselves we have denied or hidden away. Yet, it is within these shadows that we find the keys to our liberation, for by embracing all aspects of ourselves, we can emerge whole and integrated, ready to manifest our highest potential. As we journey through this process of alignment between our inner world and the reality we wish to create, we begin to see the tangible results of our inner work. Dreams and desires start to materialize, not as distant hopes, but as concrete expressions of our thoughts, beliefs, and intentions. This manifestation is a testament to the power within us, a reminder that we are the architects of our destiny, capable of shaping our lives with the tools of our consciousness. The journey of aligning our vibrational frequency with that abundance and gratitude is both a personal and universal quest, reflecting the interconnectedness of all life as we transform ourselves. We also contribute to the collective consciousness, raising the vibrational frequency of humanity and the planet. This journey, rooted in ancient wisdom and carried forward by each of us, is a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit to transcend limitations and manifest a reality imbued with abundance, gratitude, and fulfillment. In conclusion, the Mirror Principle offers a powerful framework for understanding the interconnectedness of our internal and external worlds. By embracing this principle and actively working to align our inner state with our desired reality, we unlock the potential to shape our lives in profound and meaningful ways. This journey of transformation is a testament to the power of human consciousness and its ability to transcend the boundaries of the known, inviting us into a realm of infinite possibilities.